What's up everybody, this is your girl EJ. And really quickly, now I was scrolling on Obama's internet when I came across this post that said me, thinking about what I could have said in an argument. This got to be the worst feeling in the world. Cause why, why you didn't think about none of this when you was arguing? All the things you know, all the things you've heard, just sitting up in your head and ain't none of it coming out of your mouth. Why, why? I have experienced this multiple times. Now sometimes it is intentional because sometimes the things that I could say, baby, it's gonna impact you so horribly, you may not recover. So in some instances, I do hold back in arguments because it really don't even be worth it like that to me. And I don't like to apologize. Well, I mean, you know, I, I was wrong for what I said and I, I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have said. I don't like doing that. I don't, I don't like having to say sorry. Cause one thing about me, when it's all said and done, 90% of the time, I'm gonna come back and apologize for whatever my part was. So sometimes not saying the things that I can say just makes that part easier for me. But baby, them other times, them other times, oh! There have been so many times where I've had an argument with somebody and I start realizing, and how she gonna say that when she was the one? That's what I'm saying. She really had the audacity to even bring that up when she was the one. And see, I didn't even think about that. It's torture, honestly. Cause sometimes people really do deserve for you to go for the jugular so they won't enter into this space again. But one thing about me, y'all know I have social anxiety. Mentally, I am never prepared. And baby, I'm just, I'm, I'm not gonna do it right. Me and you could be in an argument. I could know you stole some money. You tell me in the argument, I got more money than you done ever had. I'm, I'm not gonna bring up the fact that you stole money. I'm gonna say, really? really? How, how, do you, how do you know how much money I have? Really? And why are you yelling? Here's the thing about the things you don't say. Even if you make up with the person and y'all get back on good terms, for, for me, I'ma always think about the stuff I could have said to you. I'ma always be like, look at her. And she the one said that about me. And she, I can't even believe I let her say that to me. I'ma always have what I would have said on deck, just in case. Although I'ma always be too awkward to actually say them. Now granted, there are some calculated conversations that turn into arguments where I have actually prepared myself and I don't have to go for the jugular. I can just say exactly what I need to say. I done wrote it down. I prepared my opening statement. And honestly, that's how I have to do everything. I have to use a grocery list. I have to make notes before I go to the doctor so I don't forget to tell them anything. So I don't forget to ask about anything because I know mentally I'm a mess. So of course I'm like that in arguments unless I write down key points. Man, the things I could have said. The things I could have said. All right, now as always, I wanna hear from you. Have you ever experienced this feeling? If you have, what was the reason that you didn't say what you could have said in an argument? I wanna hear all about it. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. This is your girl, EJ, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.